Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's LTC Mister here coming at you with another L7 video update. And this is going to be pretty much a continuation off of from what I was able to share in my last video. But I'm able to give a little bit more information due to a Zoom meeting that I was able to attend um, with my upline yesterday. And that Zoom meeting was like an hour and a half long, which I shared the link to that uh, meeting inside of my Telegram and Facebook groups. And uh, everyone can look at that, um, you know, will, uh, you know uh, their own free will. And it also, you know, I, I never share my referral links in those Zoom recording videos. So feel free to share those videos. Uh, but before I get into this video, I'd like to say that uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I do not advise one how to invest or spend their money. All I do is show opportunities that I believe that would benefit to end around the world. And I also have opportunities that I believe that would not be beneficial to end around the world. So let's get let's get into this video. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and get to the, the current price of LSD. So LSD right now is going for pretty much $13.10, right? And you know, so the price just keeps going down right now, although it's not like a all of a sudden like drop and you know, something like a rug pull that you see and everything like that, but the price is going down. And the reason for that is that there are, uh, are a lot more sales than deposits. So you come down here and you can see that uh, you know the sales that's going on. Then here's the deposits. All these people uh, re withdrawing and then depositing back into the contract. They could be, but when you get down here further, and you see that you know this person sold over ninety six uh, LSD, which is over twelve hundred dollars. This person sell. Um, oh, they up just updated. Hold on, <laughs> let me find out. There we go. So this right here is a uh, person sold over twenty one LSD for over two hundred eighty six dollars. And then you come down, this person sold over 34 LSD for $453. Um, you come down a little bit more. Uh, you can see this person sold 345 LSD and uh, for over $4,500. Uh, this person over 94 LSD for over $1,200, but you get the point, right? Uh, you know, this right here is uh, 120, almost 125 LSD for over $1,600 as you know the transactions keep updating right now and you got a whole lot more sales that's popped up here at the top because when I was looking at this it was only like three uh, three or four but now look at all these other sales that just came in at the top uh, if I can get this down here there we go you know 43 um, LSD for five is three dollars and the price just keeps going down because you got these constant sales going on right so that's the reason why the company is going to do everything it can starting next month to be able to create more demand for LSD. Because uh, right now, you know, if you got these constant sale pressure, the price will continue to go down. So they're going to make it to where it's going to be a demand in order to bring the price of LSD back up and uh, continue to go up. And uh, so what I had hinted at in my last video was that they're going to put an earning cap on the liquidity pool mining so depending on the amount if you got less than a thousand LSD uh, or units uh, that's that's uh, staked inside of liquidity pool mining then you earn two times the reward back if you got between a thousand up to ten thousand units deposited into liquidity pool then you better earn two and a half X return right and then if you got more than ten thousand then you better earn three times the reward back um, and you know, so I know I has I had a gentleman in my last video on my last video, you know, ask me about that, and I was able to share that private Zoom link that I had attended yesterday with him. Um, you can find that in the comment section of that last video, and you better watch that Zoom recording yourself. Um, but this right, that Zoom meeting was able to give more information, and I be able to go over the information here as well. But before I do so, I'm gonna go over here to the exchange because. Um, there's other information that was shared in that Zoom meeting that I was not aware of. So, in order for us to participate with the OTC, we're going to um, apply as merchants or something like that. Uh, if I remember correctly, that's what Jeffrey um, has said in that, that Zoom meeting. And we'll be able to sell, you know, like our, uh, our assets and everything right there through the OTC. So I don't know if that's going to include like Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, and all the other um, assets that we'll be able to have access to here eventually, or is it just going to be LUSD, the NFTs, or you know the LSD? Don't know, but we're going to be able to apply as merchants for the OTC platform and be able to make money that way and exchange for assets for you know USDT or other um, assets as well. That's what was uh, was explained in that that Zoom meeting. Then the finance. 
tab. This is going to be where we'll be able to stake our assets to loan out for a return. So that's going to be the loan program that they was talking about early on. And when all these changes were taking place, that loan program is going to be a part of the finance section right here. All right. So we'll be able to take advantage of that. And then uh, also being an NFT holder, um, we'll be able to get you know more benefits as uh, like like discounts and, and trading fees. Um, you know, also getting the CLUSD that we'll be able to put into the um, the leverage trading and be able to, uh, you know, swap the CL CLUSD over for USDT and so many other things that's going on that Jeffrey explained in that video. All right. But the biggest thing I was able to get out was the information that he shared. Um, you know, so this right here was a Q&A at the end of the presentation. And uh, he was able to give us further insight of what to expect going forward. All right. So it says, how long will we be, uh, will, will, will we be given the 0.5% daily reward from the quality pool? And, you know, you got to excuse because, you know, Jeffrey's uh, first language isn't English. But, you know, I'm going to do my best to try to uh, read through these questions and the answers and everything the best of my ability so you can understand what's going on. Because I was able to, it's best to listen to the Zoom uh, meeting yourself. So that way you can get a full understanding of what's actually going on. But I'm going to do my best to break it down in a shorter video here. All right. So the first response, um, all the early joiners journ uh, of the liquidity pool will have free duration of yield mining. So, so the asset value won't count until the 20th of January of 2024. So what does that mean? It means that, you know, the uh, pretty much everyone that's in right now with liquidity pool mining we're not being uh, capped or anything like that on our mine rewards. You know, the two and a half, uh, you know, like two S return, two and a half um, S return, and three times return uh, right now. Everyone is going to be they're receiving those kind of those, those caps starting on pretty much the 21st of January, right? So that's what he's talking about right here. So everyone that's joining, that joined already and joining now, going forward until the 21st of January, will be able to earn without being capped or you know receiving uh you know, counting towards that that maximum return for uh, depending on how many units you got deposited into the liquidity pool all right so until the 20th of january 2024 uh, only will be the start uh the the implemented start for the asset value for the package all right so this will help the development of the liquidity pool getting stronger in long run and as it could help community to uh be able to sell off the primary lsd more OK, so also uh, we're going to go uh, we're going to have to build more liquidity pools in different chains like Matic, Tron, ERC20 and etc. And uh, so that right there is uh, was an unexpected announcement that I was not expecting to hear. I thought everything's going to be on BNB, but to offer uh, the liquidity pool on other chains as well. Yes, it will help create more demand um, now. Uh, we already know in pancake swap, you're only able to earn a maximum return of 30% per year. On L7 platform itself, you're able to earn 180, 180% return uh, maximum per year, something like that. You know, because you're looking at 0.5% reward. All right. And uh, I don't know if they'll have that same return for these chains like they do with a pancake swap, but they probably will, or they may offer a little bit more. I don't know. We have to wait and see about that. So, as well as with the reinvesting without start all all um, all over, the new networking member and platform would benefit each other. So, uh, I don't understand that part per se, but it, it supposedly um, you have the option, you know, pretty much if you want to go to little chains and start start building over there those liquidity as well. Because as we know. Uh, BNB is very inexpensive to use. The Binance Smart Chain is very, very inexpensive to use. Uh, another one is very inexpensive to use would be Matic. It would be Solano. Uh, Tron, it depends. Uh, if, you know, you interact with smart contracts on Tron Network, those fees can be expensive um, depending on what smart contract you're interacting with. ERC20 most definitely is going to be more expensive and the higher the price that ERC20 goes, the more costly the gas fees will become. Um, so I understand they want to go to ERC20. Uh, why they want to do it? Because ERC20 is the OG out there. It was the first one to offer smart contracts. 
And uh, so you talk about Uniswap and SushiSwap. Those are big debts out there to be able to take advantage of as well. Um, so I understand that. Uh, so moving on. How can we participate with the primary LSD tokens in the IEO projects? So first uh, response, the primary LSD can be used in yield form and secondary uh, market LSD. Uh, and those secondary LSD was able to participate in IEO. Real world assets, uh, which RWA stands for, blue chip project, and loaned our five users LSD tokenomy. Uh, other response, well, we will have um, also a sugar pool with stake a single asset to produce new year form product. So, people want to know how is it that they be able to take advantage of their LSD that they're earning pretty much daily from staking LUSD from the NFT staking, right? And of course, we already know about the liquidity pool forming, but also something new here, they're going to be adding in sugar pools to where we're able to use one asset to be able to stake and earn new um, new tokens or new products. Okay, so that, that's going to be coming in the future as well. This right here was something new that I did not hear about before. This right here, we already knew about. Okay, but this, this second response, this right here is new with the sugar pool. Okay, and uh, also the getting to the third question when can we exchange the primary lsd to usdt and in what percentage um so the first response says the percentage was calculated based on the control of pricing of secondary lsd so that's what they was talking about when they were saying that we have access to our lsd linearly you know once we're able to get to 100 million dollars and um liquidity for the liquidity pool mining then we'll be able to transfer our LSD over to the secondary market, you know, or like gate.io, uh, MetC, you know, the secondary the open market, and we'll be able to sell our LSD in a percentage-based kind of format. We won't have access to all the LSD to sell because they they still want to control the uh, the price of LSD, you know, somehow to where everyone don't lose all of the assets. Because if we have access to all the LSD, the price of LSD going down to zero immediately. And so you got all this LSD, but it's worth absolutely nothing because everyone's able to sell off immediately. We don't want that to happen. We want people to be able to take advantage of being able to use the LSD to exit out accordingly and everything like that without having to rug pull the project. Uh, that's what we don't want to happen at all. All right. So um, think, let me see, let me continue on real quick. So that right there, I responded to. So B also to make sure price was stable on secondary LSD. Supply and demand was a part of a consideration for the release and the for the percentage release. All right. So now, what was not pretty much shared here, actually, you know what? Yeah, I, I see it now. I, I, I forgot. Yeah, I was, I was about to jump ahead. But I'm just gonna wait till I get to that point and I'm gonna explain it. All right. So I already explained pretty much what the percentage release is. I don't know what the percentage would be. It's all based on the price of LSD. And so that way we don't dump the market, you know, the, uh, the price of LSD. So that way we don't rub pull ourselves. Okay. So next question. When will Bitcoin mining be available with LUSD? The former product will be, uh, will keep adding features not only on Bit uh, Bitcoin, but a lot of uh, proof of work mainstream coins as well. So, and to uh, to those blue chip project tokens that was already in profit trend and was listed on Binance and OKS. So they're gonna be adding more forms pretty soon. Um, you know when that's gonna be? I think they're trying to wait for the liquidity of LSD to get higher. Um, like they was expecting LSD uh, originally when they first came out with well, with this this new phase. They expect the liquidity of LSD to be at 100 million by the end of this month, December. But of course, with the adjustments and everything they had to make, all that right there uh, has um, been slower than what they expected initially. So now they're not expecting to get to 100 million dollars in liquidity until early part of next year. And by doing that, then they can focus on opening up other mining pools because right now they open up other um, mining pools. Is going to take away pretty much the potential liquidity that we could be adding to LSD and put it over to the other mining pools because we all understand Bitcoin is going to be probably the number one outside of Ethereum and probably well, what was the other Litecoin and BNB. But Bitcoin is probably going to be number one because we understand that the bull run is coming pretty soon, right? 
So they want to keep the focus mainly on LSD liquidity right now until they get to that point to open up the other mining pools for us to participate in passively with LUSD. So if you don't have any LUSD, uh, the only way that you're able to earn LSD is through NFT staking. L or you know you buy from the community members that's why i had did a video early um a while ago you know stating going over the importance of owning nft but that nft is the most powerful asset that we can have in l7 because that and that nft give us lusd every single day then we're able to stake lusd and get lsd every single day that's the reason why you want to have one of the nft so if you don't have one get you can join my community uh, on telegram especially ask if anyone has an nft available to sell or uh, if you can't get um, the NFT, ask for LUSD, LSD, where the case may be, so that way you can go ahead and get started. And then you want to try to still get an NFT eventually. Now, I understand that they do have the NFT market on the OKX. I don't know how to purchase NFT from OKX or anything like that. And the prices for those NFTs are expensive, you know, compared to what we bought um, in the platform. And that other people in the communities are willing to um, give a discount. Uh, for selling the NFTs as well. So that way they can try to get some extra liquidity. That's all they're trying to do. All right. So that's between you and the seller. That's has nothing to do with me. They control the price of how much they want to sell the NFTs for. All right. So now get to the other bigger announcements right here. Uh, number five, what is the business plan for the secondary market buyers in terms of volume? What is the expectation? Like end of January is going to be a million buyers. So by quarter one 2024 um we can have the number of buy-in trends so that they're they're expecting the trend of lsd to be going up in value because they're going to create the demand right and there's there's multiple reasons going over that we already know about the um the uh, the cap the earning cap on the liquidity pool mining and but they're going to they're also going to say something else in here that i absolutely like because i was expecting this to happen a lot later all right, so due to IAO, real world asset blue chip was uh, taking part. People have to have secondary LSD to join. Uh, people have already LSD uh, is going to be reducing the sale um, pressure and other investors that want to join those projects have to buy it from market. So that's, that's another thing as well. Without having the NFTs available, you know, to be able to buy, to stake area to stake, and then stake the LUSD to earn LSD. The only way that they'll be able to get access to LSD is by buying on a secondary market to get participate in the liquidity pool mining or trading, right? Um, also, um, they're going to have what, what he did go over in the video that I was able to share is that they're going to be having these nodes. So not only are you able to earn from the liquidity pool mining, the NFT staking, the LUSD staking, and all this other type of stuff, but if you are also participating as a node validator, wherever the case may be, you'll be able to earn from all of the transaction fees on the trading exchange. Uh, whether it's the you know the, the centralized exchange and the decentralized exchange, that's what they're going to be having as well. That's what he went over in the video that I was able to share the link of in the comments of my last video. All right. So uh, with also the five token number uses is going to be uh, is going to buy secondary LSD. So on the sets and debts, profit of the trading fees for company would take out 50% to buy secondary LSD and destroy a black hole address. This will reduce token on open market as well as the buying volume will increase. So what did they just say right here? This right here was the biggest one that I heard because this is what I was expecting to happen not until what 2026 or 2025. Okay, but they're going to start while well, the, the process of when every time someone sells LSD on the market, the company will use 50% of the company profits to buy the LSD back from the open market, and they're going to burn the um, LSD to reduce the amount of circulation. Remember, I've mentioned before multiple times in other videos um, prior that the total supply of LSD right now is 210 million tokens in the uh, open market. All right. They're trying to reduce that number from 210 million down to 21 million. So selling to like Bitcoin, you know, when you look at the most valuable uh, cryptos in the market, they don't have a huge amount of uh, supply. You know, um, 
look, look at what's going on with Solano right now. Solano just kicking butt right now. Uh, I I didn't get in on Solano early enough to be able to take advantage of this sudden surge and um and Solano. Solano's on the verge of being number four cryptocurrency in the world right now. It's about to overtake BNB. It's already, it's already overtaking XRP. Um, but Solano only has like over 500 million tokens. But when you talking about that Solano is also a launch pad for same thing that LSD is, is, is trying to get to that point as well to open up all these forming products, these forming pools and liquidity pools and everything like that. That, that's the reason why the value of Solano is going up because the network is very fast and it's very inexpensive to use the Solano network. Same thing with the Binance Smart Chain network. Just that Solano has already been working on this for a long time already. And, you know, they really, I don't know when they, when Solano got created, but look at the price that Solano got started at and look at where it's at right now. It's almost $100 per coin right now. All right. So this is something that LSD is already aware of not just Solano, but what also other prior cryptos like Solano is able to do. And so by using 50% of the company profits to buy back the LSD that's been sold in the open market, they're taking to this black hole address. They're going to burn the, those tokens to, uh, to reduce the supply of LSD in the market to hopefully create even more demand. So, you know, supply going down, demand goes up. And hopefully that in, in increased the price as well. So this is that was a big announcement as well. That in my opinion, that I was not expecting to hear and that zoomed in yesterday. So now when you go to the last one, the question sits. This is about the rewards and everything like that. So when would the physical products or USDT be delivered? Um, you know, so it's gonna be delivered during the um the, the Dubai event. Okay, it's, it's supposed to be in January, but now it's in February. So for people um, that remember, there was multiple promos that happened already, right? And one of those promos was like uh, the phone, you know, you're able to uh, earn the reward for a phone. I forgot what, I don't know, I can't remember what kind of phone it was. But there is going to pay $1,500 in USDT to the, uh, the winner of the phone reward. And that's going to be distributed before the Dubai tour on the 27th of February of 2024. So the Dubai trip will be held on the 27th of February 2024. Car house, uh, car house, uh, car and house reward will be given on the gala of Dubai trip. So I think that's supposed to be like the dinner uh, slash celebration. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be during Dubai trip. That's when the winner of the car and house reward will be announced as well, or they receive their their rewards. And then the partnership uh, uh, was getting into multi sign wallet. So they, uh, I guess, they get looking into multi signature wallet as well. Okay. So uh, it, I know um, with a multi-signature wallet, hopefully it will speed up the process time or for withdrawals. Sometimes we get our withdrawals, and you know, pretty much instantly or almost instantly. Then sometimes we got to wait hours to get our our withdrawals from the liquidity pool mining. So hopefully with multi-sign wallet, that's going to speed up the transaction process with that with, with, with the withdrawal procedure. Okay. So that right there was all the announcements that I had to go over additional to what I was able to explain in the last video. Um, you know, there's a lot going on. The thing is that the company is doing everything it can to protect everyone's assets as well as the company's assets because the company is not doing everything that they're doing just for them to come out on top. Uh, if that was the case, they, they would have left this thing what like the, the scam influencers that had joined this early on that they, they explained this as just an empty staking um, project and without understanding that there's a whole lot more going on. So you see that there's not too many of us, if any, hardly any, that's putting out videos right now about L7 to give updates because, you know, scam influencers, they like easy money, fast money. The NFT staking was a straight up Ponzi. It was, but it was used to grow the community to better get to these um, the, the stages that we at right now. The L7, you know, the L7 has changed. The decentralized change is coming. You know, you got the virtual debit card that's already available. They got the, the physical debit card coming uh, soon, and all these other products that's lined up. All the partnerships that they're creating, and everything as well. They had to have the community first in order to do everything else that they're doing. All right. And uh, so that's something that the scam influencers didn't, didn't explain. Now, I did my best to explain everything with the information that I did have. 
I knew that this is going to be a long term project and that there was a whole lot more coming. And uh, so a lot of people are disappointed that they cannot get access to their withdrawal funds. Now, with the announcements that they put out inside of um, our accounts here, um, I, which I went over in the last time, the last video, if you do not, did not watch my last video, then, um, you know, you want to go to announcement section. Let me see if I can get signed, logged into my account here. You want to go over to the announcement section. And you want to go ahead and read over the announcement going over, especially um, the LUSD to USDT is no more. So for those of you who, who are waiting on you to take profits from NFT staking, the only way that you're going to be able to take any profits out going forward is once we get to $100 million worth of liquidity and you'll be able to convert your AUSD over to LSD and eventually uh, transfer it over to the open market and be able to sell it that way. There is no more LUSD to USDT conversion because it is uh, a compliance issue. LUSD is not listed anywhere. LSD is listed on open market. So it is being monitored, it's being regulated. The LSD is and LUSD isn't. So by converting it from LUSD to USDT is uh, a securities issue. Uh, so, you know, and you see what's going on with the CEO, not CEO, but the SEC. Uh, the SEC is going after the cryptocurrency market in, the, in a major way. And I understand why. When you got all the scams and rug pulls happening every day in the cryptocurrency market, and then people going to the governments and complaining, what do you expect the governments to do? The governments are not going to ignore the complaints for too long. And that's the reason why the governments are intervening with cryptocurrency, which is meant to be decentralized. And they're about to regulate cryptocurrency because of all the scams um, that are happening every day in this space. And it's really thanks to the scam influencers as well because they keep promoting these hypes um, without... Um, any thoughts or, or feelings about it okay um but anyways yeah no more lusd to usdt trading or converting uh from the nft staking so for those of you who are upset about that hey you i guess you're just gonna be upset even more the only way that you'll be able to withdraw right now is through liquidity pool mining period and it's not hard to do if you was willing to put all this money into when l7 was literally a ponzi then what's the issue with you converting your LUSD over to LSD and putting the LSD over with additional USDT uh, to be able to earn every day 0.5% per day? That's the way I saw it. I'm like, I'm already getting LSD. All I got to do is add an additional 50% more of a USDT from additional profits or where the case may be and be able to earn 0.5% per day. Yeah, you know, you, you, uh, a lot of you that's in my group not even in my team and you know, the thing is that a lot of you probably heard this, this opportunity from those scam influencers that did not explain anything that was going on with L7 and what potential L7 to become. All they did was explain that's the NMT staking project. You put this money in, then you have to take it out. You know, it, it's, it's like I, I was already given a warning a long time ago that the NMT purchasing and staking will probably end eventually. And I know, but, you know, that's the thing that I was able to share with my community and they was able to understand and when you get the in, right information, you're able to stay informed, like when I do my best to share with my community, then you, you're better informed to be able to show other people the way as well. You know, there's still people going to hold grudges regardless because, you know, it's not a Ponzi anymore. It's an L7 is a legit company. And, you know, yes, they're holding the, event, the events in Dubai. Who cares? Um, you know, a legit company can do that, especially when they're originally based out of Hong Kong, which they hold, they held events in Hong Kong already. They plan on opening up more offices eventually as well. They get focusing on one thing at a time. They plan on opening up offices in Europe, and also they're looking at uh, you know possibly uh, New York City as well, and maybe some other locations after that, depending on you know if they need offices in other regions. We don't know, but they do have plans to open up more offices as well in the future. All right. But that right there wraps up what I want to talk about and about L7 the, this time around. If you like what you heard and saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to share this video with other people. If you're interested in joining L7, I have my links down in the description of this video, video as well as in the comment section. If you heard of L7 from someone else, please get back to that person. Use their referral link. Uh, create your account. Start generating passive income. Show us how to do the same thing. So that thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time in this video. Take care, everyone.